All right, hello and welcome. Uh, so this is kind of a refresh on the Trinity builds, which I know I recently relatively updated this, uh, but because Trinity is kind of the most important frame for LOR, uh, and it's the most commonly run raid, and Trinity is just kind of wildly just useful all over in general, uh, I figured it'd be good to go over these again since her changes, spe specifically to Bless. Uh, not any changes to EV really at all. So, because of that, this is EV. Uh, it has remained exactly the same. Nothing has changed here. Uh, the huge amounts of overshields for doing part two whenever you're driving the bomb, unless you bring in a Naros, that remains the same. And just generally filling your bomb carrier with energy or filling whoever you need to fill with energy with energy uh, on any mission. This is the build that you use for Draco running, uh, all that stuff. So that's, that's what this is. I guess I will just show what the intent of this build is on this level 140 bombard. Basically, you're just going to convert this guy into energy. It also does percentile damage, so the damage is pretty high, depending on who you use it on. Yeah, turn him into a bunch of energy. That's the goal. It works very, very well, and has worked the same for quite some time. Now onto the important changes. So this is the new blessing build. Uh, this works phenomenally. Actually, uh, it takes a lot of getting used to though. So the new restrictions on blessing are that it is affinity range, which means in general, 50 meter range. Uh, you'll be able to see in the top right by your health bar, uh, if you are within affinity range of another Warframe, Basically, when that symbol appears is whenever you're going to be able to bless those characters, and it's a very, very useful icon for knowing when you are going to be able to bless your entire party, specifically useful in LOR. Uh, it takes a lot of getting used to, and positioning is incredibly important on Trinity now. Uh, also, to go along with that to kind of help teach you guys how to actually play this in LOR, uh, I have a stream archive that should be coming out on the same day as this, the 6th. Uh, the stream archive is from 6-4-2016, six, six, this year, as you might imagine. Um, and that's me going through LOR and Nightmare LOR as this Blessing Trinity, uh, kind of showing where you should be standing and stuff. It doesn't go absolutely perfectly because it was my first run as it, but it does very, very well. Uh, but yeah, so the restrictions on Bless now are that it is 75%. That is its cap now. Uh, you need 50% bonus power strength to get to 75%. How you get that is kind of up to you. I decided to use Transient Fortitude because I value some other mods, uh, as opposed to using like a partially leveled Blind Rage and an Intensify. Uh, I figured this is a much better solution because I can save some mod space, use Prime Flow and such to make myself a lot harder to kill. Um, bonuses with this build is that you still get to EV a little bit. Uh, if you need to fill yourself back up with energy a little, you can do that. It's part of the reason that I bring the Vakor Heck, so that I can just hit two on an enemy and just blow them away. Uh, along with this, um, if you are running solo or if damage is getting very, very high, you can bless into Link, and you can get a huge amount of damage reduction that way and make yourself very, very hard to kill, uh, which I will be showing in a moment. Uh, but the main thing, though, is that you're blessing your party. Also, this is refreshable now. So blessing your party, like you don't need to damage yourself anymore. So moving around and like constantly like bless, keeping bless like up, uh, the downtime is a lot less and it's a lot more manageable. You just have to be able to keep up with your party and your party has to stay together for you to keep blessing them. Uh, and the 75% resistance is still very significant. Uh, if your party has like any hardiness to them whatsoever, uh, you'll be able to survive the bombs in LOR, which do a ton of damage. The nightmare bombs, of course, as well. Uh, Heck will have a very hard time taking you down, uh, provided you're giving like some good blesses out every couple of seconds so that everyone stays topped off on health. Um, but it'll, it, it's generally still a very, very good thing to have uh, and makes LOR way, way easier, but it doesn't completely trivialize it like 99% did. Uh, it's also not global anymore. But yeah, that's kind of what's up with Bless. Uh, and also, the other thing about this Blessing build is that this is also my like Trinity solo build. Uh, and along with that, let's uh, let's show it. I'm using this stuff, I got the freedom of my weapon back now that uh, I don't need to self-damage with a glaive. Also, glaives are now useless. Uh, but yeah, let's, um, let's kill some guys. Not level 140 guys, just the general test. Let's do that. 
yeah, Trinity is still very, very good. Uh, her initial change, whenever they nerfed Blessing initially, I think was just too much. It was, like, way too inconsistent, and there was a lot of bad shit going on with it. Uh, this is more interesting to play, I find, and is a lot more consistent, and you can keep it going relatively easily. Uh, it feels good to play, and it's not, like, breaking the game in any way that I can, like, reasonably feel out, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, let's just go through this. It is a very, very hard to kill Trinity. Also, keep in mind that uh, while you're linked, you're crowd control immune and you reflect damage. So that's pretty good, as it turns out. Turns out, reflecting shit, pretty, pretty soft. As you can see, it's very hard to take me down. Like, I'm kind of just immune to a lot of shit. Like, Trinity kind of plays like a tank whenever you use a build like this. Uh, obviously not like a super hard tank and you're using a lot of healing. But of course you're very self-sufficient. And with this much duration you actually have a very, very long uh, EV which can serve as a stun, which is quite good. Granted, it's only one target at a time. Well, I guess if we're really going to get technical about it, this is also a stun. And a heal, too. Yeah, obviously, as Trinity, you're going to be relying on your weapons a lot. You are a support Warframe. And you are for supporting. Uh, but yeah, that's Blessing Trinity, that's EV Trinity. Uh, check out the other, the stream archive that came out just today. Uh, it's going to be raiding slash Korea hunting is going to be the title of that stream archive if you're looking for this in the future. Uh, but yeah, go check it out. Also, uh, other thing to note, the heck got its sound back. Which is very, very nice. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.